The Yarra Valley is home to one of the world's oldest living indigenous cultures. With great quality food, majestic scenery and places to visit, there is something for everyone in the valley. One of the emerging tourist activities in the region is the Yarra Valley Railway, which currently operates between the popular destination town of Hillsville and Tarawara Estate. The Victorian Railways built the railway um, and it was built by the state government effectively to open up the area and to open up the timber industry, open up the agricultural and also allow for development of the townships along the line. So it was created from what they call the Octopus Act, which was a legislation in government to allow multiple railways to be opened for economic development. The line was surveyed all the way through to Hillsville and um, in 1888 the railway was built to Yarra Glen and then it took another 12 months for it to get to Hillsville. The railway is 100% volunteer run. We've got over 500 members and the number of volunteers that contribute to the railway each year are you know, over 500. They come from all different walks of life and we have both male and female. It's a huge project. It's actually the largest volunteer project, infrastructure project anywhere in Australia. Last year alone, we had around uh, 70 to 80,000 hours of volunteer time spent on the railway rebuilding it. And that came from 10 different organisations and they included everything from church groups to the historical society, the railways members, and also corporate volunteering. In the past um, several years, we've rebuilt around 16 uh, railway bridges fully. We've got also Yarra Glen, and Yarra Glen's been fully rebuilt. The station, the toilets, the platform. One of the, one of the important things about the railway is that it's about rejoining the two townships of Hillsville and Yarra Glen and allowing that to grow the tourist product out in a more diversified way. Uh, so that tourists can travel for, from all ages and all abilities. The railway itself is 100% volunteer run and operated. There is no paid staff at the Arrow Valley Railway and 99% um, of them come directly from the local community right here in the, the wider eastern region of Melbourne. So our team volunteers in the community once every year. Um, and this year we chose the Yarra Valley Railway because most of our team are engineers and jumped at the opportunity to get involved in something that was engineering. So I worked in an office environment for 38 years and, uh, and obviously you've got a fairly fixed set of skills that you're exposed to but here you know I, I rub shoulders with welders and um, you know, drive, train drivers and um, people from all walks of, of life and you know, you're sharing their, their skills as well so you, know, you, you learn a lot more um, in terms of, of, of what people's life's experience have been so that's a very good aspect of volunteering I, I find. I'd recommend for other groups to consider volunteering to help the Yarra Valley Railway because it brings the community together um, and we're helping with the Halloween train at the moment um, and you know, tonight and for the rest of the week, there's some people that are going to enjoy um, what the team here has done. Um, so, I think for the team, it, everyone likes the opportunity to give back to the community. Um, but at the same time, it becomes a good team building day for all of us and gives us an opportunity to work with some of the people in the team that we don't normally get to work with. Um, as much on a daily basis and all have a chat and have lunch together. So we end up walking away from the day feeling much more bonded as a team. Out here I think there's a little bit more opportunity just to have some fun, some laughs. Um, and it's nice knowing that we're doing something that's helping the community to achieve, you know, the final goal I suppose here of getting these trains up and running and get the line back on on track, I suppose, for one of the better expressions.